were you doing over there? Uh, I was uh, working out, making a workout for uh, me and my girlfriend. Are you a spiritual person? Uh, I will call myself spiritual. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. You've been born again? I have been born again. Okay. Are you reading your Bible daily? Uh, I'm not going to say daily, but I do read my Bible. Have you got any non-Christian friends? Uh, yes, I do. What's, What's going to happen to them if they die in their sins? Um, I'm going to say they're going to go to hell. Now, does that concern you? Uh, yes, it does. Are you pleading with them to get right with God? Um, I can't say I am all the time, no. If I said I don't believe in God, what would you say to me? I'd ask you what made you uh, not believe in God. I said there's no evidence. Can you think of any evidence to tell me? Um, um, that's a good question. Well, how about a building needs a builder, a painting needs a painter, creation needs a creator. It couldn't make itself. Scientifically impossible. No building built itself. No painting painted itself, and creation couldn't make itself. That's crazy. So that's how we know God exists. It's all in Romans 1. It says, The invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. So they're, they're without excuse. Okay, let's say I believe in God. Uh, why should I become a Christian? Uh, my faith is though you should become a Christian uh, to become saved. If, if you are a Christian, you, know, you should be saved. Saved from what? Uh, Save from uh, eternal damnation, uh, hell. So why would I go to hell? How could you convince me I'm going to hell? I don't believe in that. My God's a God of love and kindness. You're saying I'm going to hell and I'm a good person? Do you know what you need to do? You need to show me I'm not a good person. Do you know how to do that? How do you do that? No. Go through the Ten Commandments. Jesus did it in Mark 10 verse 17. I'll do it with you. Do you think you're a good person? Uh, yes, I do. How many lies have you told in your life? Uh, many lies. So you're a liar? Yes. Have you ever stolen something? No, I haven't. Uh, have you downloaded music off the internet that's not yours? Oh, uh, yeah, I have. That's theft. Okay, well then, yeah, I have stolen. So you're a lying thief. <laughs> you still think you're a good person? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Now, have you ever used God's name in vain? Uh, yes, I have. That's blasphemy, punishable by death in the Old Testament. Using God's name as a cuss word? You wouldn't use any other human being's name as a cuss word because it's such an insult. Jesus said, your name is holy. Godly Jews won't even speak God's name because it's so holy, and yet you've used it as a cuss word. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Uh, yes, I have. You're having sex out of marriage? Uh, yes, I have. Before. So here's a quick summation. Brandon, you're not a good person. You're like the rest of us, by your own admission, not judging you. You're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. And you have to face God on judgment day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, we looked at four of them, are you going to be innocent or guilty? I'd probably be guilty. No, probably. You would be guilty of sin. Would you go to heaven or hell? i go to hell. Now, does that concern you? Uh, yes, it does. Now, tell me, what did God do for guilty sinners so we wouldn't go to hell? Uh, he brought his son to uh, save us. Yeah, he, he sacrificed himself on the cross. You and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments. Jesus paid the fine. Do you remember what he said on the cross about that? He said a strange thing. He said, it is finished. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, yes, I do. He was saying the debt has been paid. I've finished what I came to do. And then he gave up his spirit. In other words, he paid the fine so you and I could leave the courtroom. And God can dismiss your case, forgive your sins, commute your death sentence and let you live forever because of that death and resurrection, because of that suffering payment he gave. What you have to do is repent of all sin and trust in Jesus, like you trust a parachute, with all your heart, trust in him. And then you'll live in holiness, not to earn heaven, but because you're grateful for God's mercy. No lust, no lying, stealing, blasphemy, fornication, all those things are, are evidences of hypocrisy. Being a pretender, not being genuine in your faith, oh, hypocrites are gonna end up in hell. So, is this making you think? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you for talking to me. I right, no problem. Have a good one.